Exclusive Steelers News Hello, devoted Steelers fans. Today we bring you news that is causing a stir in the world of American football. Mark Schlereth, former Denver Broncos player, has launched harsh criticisms against our quarterback, Russell Wilson. According to Schlereth, Wilson faced severe criticism during his time in Denver, going as far as calling his performance garbage. Now, the former player takes it a step further, accusing Wilson of not taking responsibility for the team's decline during his tenure with the Broncos. In recent statements on his podcast, The Stinkin' Truth, Schlereth suggested that Wilson tends to blame multiple external factors for his poor results instead of taking his share of responsibility. According to Schlereth, this has contributed to creating an environment of toxic positivity where he surrounds himself with people who tell him that problems are not his fault. These criticisms are not new for Wilson, who has also been questioned in the past for his leadership and his relationship with teammates, both in Denver and Seattle. But it's not all criticism for Wilson. Since arriving in Pittsburgh, we've seen a different side of him. He has been seen interacting closely with his teammates, such as Spencer Anderson, a lesser-known offensive lineman. This gesture contrasts sharply with the criticisms in Denver, where it was said that Wilson was disconnected and struggled to bond with the locker room. In addition to his off-field behavior, Wilson has also impressed the team with his work ethic. According to reports from Mark Cavalli of The Athletic, Wilson has shown a dedication and focus in his training reminiscent of the early days of Antonio Brown, when the star receiver was known for his hard work to become one of the best in the league. However, Schlereth's criticism still persists, especially regarding Wilson's playing style on the field. Schlereth has expressed concern about Wilson's tendency and rookie quarterback Justin Fields to hold onto the ball for too long, resulting in a significant number of sacks. Over the past two seasons, Wilson has been sacked 100 times, a statistic that according to ESPN analyst Dan Orlovsky, no other quarterback has reached. The next big challenge for Wilson and the Steelers will be facing the Broncos in Week 2. This game will not only be an opportunity for Wilson to prove his worth on the field and silence Schlereth's criticisms, but also a chance to seek some revenge against his former team and coach Sean Payton. Stay tuned to our channel for more details on this developing story and all the exclusive news about your Pittsburgh Steelers. Don't miss it! From adversity in Chicago to radiance in Pittsburgh, Justin Fields, the young and talented quarterback, has endured a tumultuous journey in the NFL, especially during his time with the Chicago Bears. Over three years in the Windy City, Fields faced multiple head coach and offensive coordinator changes, creating an unstable and challenging environment for his development as a quarterback. Devontae Harris, Fields' former teammate in 2022, recently shared his perspective on the player's situation during his time in Chicago on the Bring the Juice podcast. Harris described the environment as a dead end for Fields, noting that despite his dedication and talent, the constant turnover in coaching staff and lack of stability within the organization hindered his progress. Jason Goff of NBC Sports Chicago offered a scathing critique of the circumstances Fields found himself in. In an interview on The Right Time with Bomani Jones podcast, Goff commented that Fields was subjected to one of the worst possible scenarios for a quarterback's development. From his debut in a tumultuous game against the fierce Cleveland Browns defense to the team's rebuilding under a new general manager, Fields faced significant challenges that could have discouraged many other young players. Despite these adversities, Fields' talent and work ethic did not go unnoticed by the Pittsburgh Steelers. General Manager Omar Khan expressed excitement over acquiring Fields, highlighting his innate ability and exceptional character both on and off the field. Khan praised Fields' positive attitude since joining the team, describing him as a committed player dedicated to constant improvement. Sources close to the team informed Steelers now that Fields is impressed with his active participation in team meetings, his quick grasp of the playbook, and his willingness to establish effective connections with the team's receivers. Additionally, he has shown a genuine interest in leveraging the experience of veteran players like Russell Wilson, seeking to learn and grow at every opportunity. With his move to Pittsburgh, Justin Fields has the chance to leave behind the challenges of the past and write a new chapter in his professional career. 
With the support of a stable organization and an environment conducive to his growth, Fields is determined to become a star in the NFL and lead the Steelers to success in the upcoming seasons. Exclusive news for passionate Pittsburgh Steelers fans. In the upcoming weeks, the Steelers are gearing up to start their training camp with significant uncertainty at the starting wide receiver position. The sudden departure of Deontay Johnson to free agency has left a considerable void in the team's aerial offense, generating concern among fans and analysts alike. Despite notable efforts by management to bolster the offensive roster, including the acquisitions of quarterbacks Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, as well as selecting offensive linemen in the recent NFL draft, the need for a star-wide receiver remains an urgent priority. Rumors have been circulating regarding potential trades that could bring standout players like Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, D.K. Metcalf, and Cortland Sutton to Pittsburgh. However, so far, these rumors have not materialized into concrete negotiations. The question on everyone's mind is whether the Steelers' front office will act before the start of the season or opt to wait and make a strategic move during the campaign. This decision could have a significant impact on the team's offensive strategy and its aspirations for the upcoming season. Fans and followers of the team are divided in their opinions on the best way to address this situation. Some believe that an early trade would allow the Steelers to integrate the new receiver into the system before the start of regular season games, providing time to develop chemistry with the new quarterbacks. Others feel that waiting could enable the Steelers to better assess needs and adjust their strategy based on actual conditions that arise during the season. To gain a broader perspective on fan sentiment, we have launched a survey on our website. We invite all Steelers fans to participate and share their opinion on whether the team should actively pursue a trade for an elite wide receiver before the season begins. We will closely monitor any developments related to this situation and provide regular updates as the start of training camp approaches. Don't forget to follow us to stay informed of all the latest news and analysis about the Steelers here on our dedicated news channel exclusively for Pittsburgh's beloved team. Your support and participation are crucial to keeping us informed and connected during this exciting upcoming season. Steelers fans, it's time to dive into the depths of the hottest news. Today we face a heated debate, Mark Schlereth's criticisms of Russell Wilson. Are his observations fair or just media noise? Hit the bell, subscribe, and share your thoughts with us. Don't miss any detail, from Wilson's commitment on the field to his integration into the team, we're here to keep you informed and engaged. Join our Steelers community and be a part of every play, every decision, and every victory on this exciting journey.